Welcome to EpiInfo 7 Training. In this video, we'll show how to perform a linear regression analysis in the Visual Dashboard. Linear regression is an analysis tool that looks for a relationship between a continuous variable and one or more predictors. I'm in the Visual Dashboard and the data source is set, as you can see at the top of the page. I've opened the line listing for the data and this is a fictitious data set we're using for this example. We think there is a relationship between hemoglobin levels and whether or not a person has tuberculosis. So looking at the line listing, we see the hemoglobin column is a continuous variable and age, sex, fever, and tuberculosis are the predictors. In this example, we'll use fever and tuberculosis for the predictors. We'll start by looking at those two variables individually using a linear regression analysis. We'll right click on the canvas and navigate to Advanced Statistics and Linear Regression. At the very least we need one outcome variable and that's going to be hemoglobin. Then we'll need one other variable and we'll choose that from the fields drop down. I'll select tuberculosis and then run. I'll close the configuration panel and for this example, we'll focus on the values for tuberculosis, in particular the p-value. This is very small and suggests there is a relationship between hemoglobin and tuberculosis. Then let's look at a coefficient to see if it's a negative or positive relationship. It's negative, so this means that the presence of tuberculosis is associated with lower hemoglobin levels. Now let's look at another variable in our data set, fever. We'll right-click again, navigate to Linear Regression. Our outcome is still hemoglobin, and the field is fever. We'll click Run. We'll close the configuration panel, and here are our results. The p-value is just above 0.05, which is on the borderline of being associated with hemoglobin. Now, since we have two variables that seem to be associated with hemoglobin, we'll look at both in one linear regression analysis. Right-click on the canvas again, navigate to linear regression, outcome is still hemoglobin, and we'll choose both fever and tuberculosis, and click Run. I'll close the configuration panel and the p-value for tuberculosis is still small even when adjusting for including fever in the analysis. So tuberculosis is associated with lower hemoglobin even when we factor in fever. We have just run two linear regression analyses, one with an individual variable and one with multiple variables for comparison. Thanks for watching and more user support videos are coming soon.